Yeah, it sounds uh, more centrist. Yeah. Where do you guys play at? Where are you at mostly? She's further left than I am. I mean, it's a. I am all for abortion stuff and like basic human rights. And it's kind of the only option. Well, that's a very, very staunch subject, and I will take the. I always ask this challenge on yeah. that. Uh, I always hear women say, well, it's my body. And I says, well, what about the baby's body? Right. I mean, does the baby have any say in this? I mean, if you could ask the baby, would you like to have your head squashed? Uh, I don't think the baby would go, okay. So, you know, it's like it gets to that. And because right. there are, correct me if I'm wrong on this, there is a waiting list for adoption. You, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I mean... And well, well, it's because people want to adopt babies, and they don't want to adopt. No, I, I, kids again, and, I, I, you know, again, correct me for more, because I've, I try to keep up with as much of this information as I can. Right, but there are also tons and tons of. Babies. I mean, we 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 get people like going overseas to adopt, you know. Right. He, the children. Well, so, it's easy. It's well, easier. it's still, they can, you know, they can, if they, they care, they can, they're waiting here. Right. They can still do it here. Right. I mean, I, I ta I'm talking to mental health case with social workers out here that are telling me about the broken families and, you know, I, I have to tell you, you're in business yourself, right. but you're dealing mostly with people, hopefully, that have families. Why kill them? But Why not most, adopt? Why not most, adopt? Most, I mean, the percentage, the percentage of women who use abortions as birth control, are very, 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 very. very so is it okay slim. then, like a percentage of people that murder can get away with it? It can't be. I mean, if you just do it because. Right. Ah, I don't like the look. I don't like it. I want the kid with blue eyes. Boom. You know, is that okay? I mean, they've given surveys of is it okay right. to go out on the life ancestry? Is it okay to kill a kid up until the age of three? Yeah. I mean, you got people, a large percentage of them, I think it was in the 30 percentile, that was going, yeah, it's okay to kill a kid up to the age of three. And that's where this goes. But because that... I'm going to give you where it's all going to. To allow you to believe it's okay to kill the most innocent thing that there is. You bring him into the world, and at the same time you're killing him. And here's why. I'm going to give you why they want to put you in this mindset. Right here. They don't need us anymore. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. Yes, it does in this sense. Right now you got 50% of the work and people taking care of 50% of the people that are, are in systems, on some kind of a government assistance. They need welfare, they need social security, whatever. Without the government check, they'd be in a lot of trouble. So you got 50% of the people that are keeping the other 50% afloat. AI and robotic technology is going to go ahead and eviscerate a lot of jobs of the 50% that are already working. So let's say it takes care of 50% of, of their working jobs, 25% are going to be taking care of 75%. The math don't fit. So we're looking at now a way to get rid of us. What's a way to get rid of us? Well, let's kill them in the womb. That's why most of the abortion clinics are where? In the minority areas. Don't need them anymore. Because Hell, we got an abundance of free labor. They can't get birth control. So here's oh, the yes, thing. They, can. they cannot. Oh, here's sure. the thing. They can't get birth control so they get pregnant because they can't get birth control and then they don't want to have a baby. I, 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 I find that hard to believe that, uh, they, that I mean hell you can go to a drugstore and get birth control. You, I mean condoms are expensive. Condoms are very expensive. So are children. And how and then you could uh, And then you could have them adopt enough for adoption. So I find it ironic that a woman that brings children into the world is allowing them to be killed. I find this to be one of the most ironic things I've ever experienced. 94.7% of abortions happen before eight weeks. At 10 weeks... So at what time is it not a, 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 a 
a divine being? What, uh, what, at what point okay, is it not a child? Do you think child? tadpoles are, de- are divine beings? As far as I'm concerned, yes, because, you know, I mean, I, you know, I can't make it. Well, do you, do you have campaigns to stop tadpoles? But we're not talking killed? about tadpoles here, my Why dear. Not? We're talking about babies. We're talking about they're people not, you bring in. They're not babies at that point. Okay. They're this big. So it's your definition. Okay, so, okay. But here's the thing. So it's, so it's that big, so it's okay to crush them. In other words, if you left them alone, they'd grow to be a baby, right? Not if you take them out of the person they No, are you in. Can, in other words, it's okay to kill a kid when it's that big. It's not but a not when it's it doesn't have limbs. It doesn't have limbs at that point. But it's still a living entity that would grow into so a baby, a am I correct? So is a bumblebee, so is a mosquito. Yeah, but we're not you're just as apples and oranges, darling. We're not talking about insects here or you know a, a, Frogs. We're talking about a human being, a divine it's, thing, something that it could have a consciousness and a mind. But it doesn't. That's How do you know that? Because we've studied embryos. Oh, we've studied it. Oh, the time. scientists say it so. Oh, let's God. Oh, it's a scientist, the divine scientist. Let's just do away with God altogether and plant the scientists and say, kill whatever you want, up to three years old. Oh, what the, up to 30. No let's one. just go ahead and kill anybody that doesn't really. You know, it doesn't agree with us or our way of thinking. But if you can't trust science, who can you trust? Well, I'm not saying I we mean, don't they're, trust. They're the people I don't trust science, but you don't life. make them the divine the arbitrators of what is right and what is wrong. You don't no, say you that, you know, that oh, because it's this big. Yeah. And that's not the case, because they do have abortions. Late-term abortions. Here's the thing. I have a friend, a personal friend, who just had a late-term abortion. Let me tell you about her late-term abortion. She found out she was. this was a very, very wanted pregnancy. Her and her partner tried very hard to get pregnant. They conceived. They were told at 15 weeks, right after they announced to all of their family that they were pregnant, that they were having a beautiful little baby. They had been waiting for it. They were so excited. They were told at 15 weeks that baby had a hole in the diaphragm and had one heart ventricle instead of four. The baby was going to die. She was given the option to end the pregnancy at that point or wait for the baby to die in her stomach. This baby that she loved and wanted and cared for was either going to die in her stomach or was going to die the second it came out of her body if she waited because it... it, it And I have no no problem with that abortion. Right. Because it would be a threat to life. The baby was already basically dead by your description. Right. And it would be a threat to the woman's life. I have no problem with that. That but we're not talking about the majority of abortions, and there are a lot of them. There are millions of them that are performed. And you can't tell me every one of them are because there was a medical you know, condition that no, was involved there. But it's not. It's because I can't afford it. I don't want it. It will interfere with my social life. When abortions happen when there is a medical threat, that is the only instance in which late-term abortions happen. I have, I have another friend, because I'm in this world. Unless Pan so can sell them for a lot of money, which may they make about a quarter million bucks off of each uh, late-term that abortion. Was, Planned Parenthood doesn't do late-term abortions. Uh, I have testimony to prove you wrong. They absolutely do not do late, late-term abortions. I have another friend who, a similar situation, at 17 weeks, she found out that her, she was had many kids. She was Her and her husband had, were trying for more. She found out at 17 weeks, the baby only had half a brain. So again, same thing. She's a she's a wealthy white woman who lives in a very wealthy community in New Jersey. She has incredible health insurance, and she, I can't wait for this baby to die inside of me. Again, you're bringing up, you know, situations, which I would, you know, agree. Please, there is please a let reason. Me finish. Yeah. She, again, wealthy white woman who has who has very she's very fortunate with finances. She has incredible health insurance. She couldn't find. She had a baby who was going who was a ticking time bomb inside of her. Essentially, mm-hmm. didn't only had half a brain. Was not going to make it. She couldn't find someone who would perform an abortion at 17 weeks. She could have called herself Art Regis and gone to a. a, a 
low-income neighborhood no. probably would have. No, she tried. She went everywhere. She's she's also part of the birth community. She went everywhere. She lives right next to New York City. She went to New York City. She went to Planned Parenthood. They told her no. She went to private, private pay, no insurance clinics. Mm. She couldn't find someone to to ease the suffering of the fetus that was dying inside of her that she desperately wanted. It was horrible for her. Late-term abortions do not happen unless there is an intense medical emergency, unless that baby is dead. If the baby dies inside of the person, no matter if it's 20 weeks or 36 weeks, like my friend who just lost her baby last week, that baby died inside of her stomach. She birthed it. That's considered an abortion. Where would you go, Fine. Where would you go or suggest to people to go to get your side or this, what, what I'm hearing now? Or is there a uh, statistics or is there a... Yeah, where where can we get this information? The CDC. The CDC. Yes, and the World Health Organization. They're okay. non-biased organizations. Mm, yeah, okay. They're non but the World Health Organization is the non-biased the CDC. Yeah, I would I would I, would, I, I would have I, being skeptical. I mean, I'm giving you stories. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say that that would be. I'm giving you uh, personal true. life examples. Yeah, I had to, but, that's okay. why I'm asking. So and my, I'm taking so what you're saying. To your but skepticism is where do you on, go for on. the other side? Hold on. But there are also well, statistics, statistics from European countries that offer much more affordable. I'm sorry, is that one yeah, right. I, yeah. Uh, Are any of these little stupid uh, posters for sale? Sure. They are? How much is the 9-11 one? Uh, everything's done by donation, so most people give me around ten thousand for that. Ten thousand dollars? Yeah, but you know, I'll give it I'll give it to you for ten. How's that? For ten bucks? Yeah. Are you familiar with 9-11? You know about... Inside and out. Yeah. 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 Wait. And you think it's stupid, that poster? Oh, yeah, I think it's very funny. That's why I want (laughs) to... You think it's very funny? Do you have an answer to the question? Huh? Do you have an answer to the question? Of how two planes planes took look. You're yeah, how in the of a, of you're a, in the middle of a debate. A debate about we just want the poster, yeah. <laughs> but we'll buy it. But um, well, let me give you some information. Yeah, and then you can go ahead. I'm perusing on your own <laughs> really? because I happen to speak to and meet archi- one of the originators of architects and engineers for 9 11 Truth. Yeah, okay. my landlord has all and, of um, yeah. too. And if you can answer any of those questions for me, uh, and you know, you can email me, I'll be happy to go ahead and buy you dinner the next time in town. But that ain't going to happen because you cannot answer those questions for me. Well, I mean, why are schools a whole metal? You want to have one of them? I'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, that was great talking to you guys, really. I mean, I'm glad for your information. I appreciate it. I like, I'm, I'm, I'm taking your, your information on board. Thank you. I mean, I think, you know, you are probably sincere, and I, hear, and I think, you know, you're, you're speaking from knowledge. Right. So, I mean, but I will look it up, and because, you know, again, I'm looking through my filters and my perspectives. Right. I can personally, see the skepticism of CDC. <laughs> But World Health Organization, right. I would say, is reliable. Yeah, again, I, I always take everything with a grain of yeah, salt, right. but, uh, you know, some more than others. Here's a get-out-of-jail-free card from Hillary Thanks. Clinton for you. <laughs> personally, for what it's worth, uh-huh. I, because I do this work, I personally would not be able to have, I wouldn't be able to have an abortion. But if I were told at 15 weeks that this baby oh, yeah, I yeah, wanted was so love wrong. was dying, I would, yeah, again, I have I would, no I would have problem it. if it's life-threatening. It. Right. It's only the ones where it's a lifestyle. Thing, you know, they get a, you know. But if yeah. if we put funding into making birth control a lot more accessible, and I mean legit, I don't mean condoms. I mean legitimate oh, yeah, fucking birth all, control. Everything. Teaching everything from in places to, yeah. in places um, in Europe and mostly Scandinavia, they. Their birth control is much, much, much cheaper, and they do free birth control for low-income people. Their abortion rates are incredibly low. They're so low. And so it's like, it can't, we have to figure something out, you know? And that's part of why I'm doing this work.
work. I can provide people birth control for free, you know? Yeah. And and I can do these things. I can Again, do these thank things you very much because you are informed. You are, right. you know, you I are in the mix having, of it. I like having conversations that are legitimate. And I like getting busted out of my filters too, you right. know, because I, if I just listen to my own little echo chamber, <laughs> I ain't getting nowhere exactly. either, you know? Exactly. So uh, I want to thank you for that. Thank Go you. ahead and look at, you know, and. Uh, Look at my YouTube channel. If you okay. like what you see, go ahead and because I have a conversation like this out all the time. Just spoke to a uh, retired colonel about 9/11, and uh, you know, there you go. You're very kind. And here's a here's a get out of jail free card from Hillary Clinton. Oh yeah, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Oh yeah, guys, enjoy. Thanks. Have a good one. Hey, brother. What are we doing?